What's up, Wayne and Baron here with DarkFix.net, and we're inside of Office Access, and we are going to be doing lesson number eight. And what this one is going to consist of is that we're going to be adding in a subform, and the subform is going to allow us to where once we add in our new user into the users table, then the subform is going to allow us to add in that user's information into the info table using that user's ID. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Come over here and click on the design view. And the first thing we want to do is we want to drag this out a little bit. Let's make it just a little bit wider. Select these and move them over to the center about right up in here. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to come up top and we want to choose our subform and subquery, which doesn't want to show its name. I don't want to pop up for some reason. So anyway, this is what we want. Let's go ahead and drag it out. We're going to drag it out about this long. And then um, we're going to run into an error, but I want to show you this error. So let's go ahead and use existing tables and queries. Click on next. We want to select everything from our info field. Click on next. And then it says choose from a list. So show info for each record in a user's user <laughs> users using UID. Click on next and we get this uh, error or warning. The link you selected can't be used. The link was created based on relationships between source tables. To use this link you must go back to the previous page and include the missing fields. Okay, what that means is that our uh, insert record form field right here does not have the ID and so let's come over here to add existing fields let's drag out our user ID let's get rid of the label let's come back over here to the property sheet and let's make it not visible now if we go inside and we recreate our subform select next select all next as you can see it's showing show info for each record in SQL statement using UID that is because that user ID is sitting right there so now we are able to make our join relationship between our users table and our info table using the UID so now let's click on next and this is our info form or info subform. Let's click on finish. Okay, and this is what our subform looks like. Let's go ahead and delete that out. And let's go ahead and make it just a little bit wider if I can get it. Alrighty. So now let's go ahead and run this so we can take a look at how it works. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on our little pencil right here to create a new record. And this is going to be uh, our new user password address and state I am in. Click on the checkbox. And as you can see, we've automatically got a user ID of 25. So let's go ahead and uh, type in short description goes here long description <laughs> goes here okay now we're going to click down here at the bottom and that is going to append our information into our info field so that whenever we come over here to our read we're going to go ahead and refresh everything and then we can go see what we're hunting for is we're hunting for record 25 let's go to 2, 23, 24, and 25. There we go. Alright, so that is how we insert records into another uh, table using our forms. Okay, in our next lesson, lesson 9, we are going to uh, order all this stuff and put it into a nice little package so that it will be easier on the eyes and easier to work with all within one page. Okay, Wayne Brandon here with DarkFix.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.